हेलो एवरी वन एंड अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम ऑन द यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ एस एस एम शारदा आई एस दर इज़ एन इम्पॉर्टेंट नोटिस फॉर ऑल द आई एस एस्परेंट्स बिफोर लुकिंग एट द डेली अपडेट हेडलाइंस फ्रेंड्स अ न्यू बैच ऑफ जनरल स्टडीज फॉर सिविल सर्विसेज एग्जाम टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री इज अबाउट टू स्टार्ट सोन इन द इंस्टीट्यूट एनी कैंडिडेट हु विश टू एनरोल दैम सेल्स फॉर द कोर्स और वॉन्ट टू गेट अदर इंफॉर्मेशन रिलेटेड टू द कोर्स can reach out to us on the given contact number of the institute now let's have a look at today's featured headlines inauguration of the conference of chief ministers and chief justices of the high court mandate document issued regarding the national curriculum framework Bagavalli Soma Shankar Raju will take over as the vice chief of army staff. Approval for transfer of government share of Pawan Hans Limited. All India Radio's Punjabi service is very popular in Russia. Prime Minister Narendra Modi attended the inaugural session of the Joint Conference of Chief Ministers of States. and chief justices of the high court law and justice minister kiran rijiju and chief justice of india n v ramana also addressed the session the joint conference will provide an opportunity to the executive and judicial sector to develop a framework for delivering simple and convenient justice and to discuss the steps needed to overcome the challenges faced by the justice system Such a conference was organized in the year 2016. Subsequently, the government took various initiatives under the e-courts mission mode project for integration of digital technology in court procedures and improving the framework. Union Minister for Education, Skill Development and Entrepreneurship Dharmendra Pradhan released a mandate document to outline the national curriculum under the national education policy in Bengaluru. This document will act as a link between the national policy on education and the national curriculum framework. Pradhan informed that the national curriculum framework for play schools would be ready by Saraswati Puja. He said that the national policy on education is a document prepared by extensive consultation and consensus. He said that the national policy on education is a document prepared by extensive consultation and consensus. He said that a mobile app is being developed to give suggestions to the general public for preparing the national curriculum framework. Lieutenant General Bagawali Soma Shekhar Raju will take over as the Vice President of the Army Staff on May 1st. Soma Shekhar Raju, an alumnus of Sainik School Bijapur and National Defence Academy, was commissioned into the Jat Regiment on 15th December. He commanded this battalion during OP Parakram in Jammu and Kashmir. He also has the distinction of commanding the Uri Brigade along the line of control. a counter insurgency force and the chinar corps in the kashmir valley lieutenant general raju is also a qualified helicopter pilot he has been awarded uttam youth seva medal ati vishisht seva medal and youth seva medal for his outstanding contribution to service government has approved the transfer of management control and highest bid of star 9 mobility private limited for sale of entire 51% of the government shareholding of Pawan Hans Limited Union Minister for Transport and Highways Nitin Gadkari Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman and Union Civil Aviation Minister Jyotiraditya Sindhya in the Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs approved the buyer for the disinvestment of Pawan Hans Limited Amidst the Russia-Ukraine conflict, apart from its growing popularity in countries such as the USA, Canada, Finland and Ireland, Akashvani's Punjabi service is gaining popularity in Russia. The most popular All India Radio live stream on News on Air app in the latest ranking of top countries in the world by listenership. 
the US, UK, Canada and Australia continue to top the list while Kuwait has joined the list again. Nepal is out of the list now. Among the top All India radio streams globally, AIR Karaikal, AIR Kodaikanal and Vivid Bharti Seva Delhi have entered the top 10. Among the top All India radio streams globally, AIR Karaikal, AIR Kodai Kanal and Vivid Bharti Seva Delhi have entered the top 10. These rankings are based on data from March 1st to March 31st this year. More than 240 AIR services are broadcasted live on News on Air, the official app of Prasar Bharti. This app is very popular in more than 85 countries. That's all we have for today. If you like this video, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also press the bell icon to get the regular notifications. Thank you.